it's difficult in a sense because we see the disease all the time, but it is still a really rare entity. And when patients prevent, present with joint pain, uh, this is probably lower down on the differential, but it is something that physicians really do need to think about. And um, for many patients, you can make the diagnosis with imaging. And, and so being aware of the type of imaging and discussions with the radiologists uh, can often help um, make this diagnosis for, with patients. This is a disease that generally will only affect one joint. And one of the issues that we have is that patients come in with diagnoses in multiple joints. And so we know that's generally not tenosynovial giant cell tumor. So, you know, understanding there could be other processes going on in the other joints, compensation from the main process could be an issue. Or, you know, it's, it's very possible that they have another condition that's mimicking this. So these are some of the important aspects. Uh, the other thing is when the diagnosis is made, I do think the referral to the orthopedic oncologist is critical, and then potentially even including the medical oncologist, but then bringing in uh, that multidisciplinary team that we often speak about.